Alright, so today I've got this TRE air locker and I'll be fitting it to my D-Max diff center. So I thought I'd do a bit of an unboxing video of what you actually get with these TRE air lockers. So, so you open it up, you've got instructions, some stickers. In here we've got all the hardware, so you've got your air fittings, shims, switch solenoid solid spacer which we don't need for my model car but some do that's to, for the air to activate the locker and then in here we have the, the actual diff center locking center and some airline so i'm just going to start by center punching these caps just so they go on exactly how they come off basically let's put little so it'll be one meaning one, and they'll do two for two. Yeah, so caps are all marked. One, two, three, four. And then we'll pretty much start ripping this apart. Alright, so I got the center out. Pretty much just got to undo all these, get this ring off, because I'll need to reuse that. So as you can see here, that's our standard LSD diff. So I'm actually running the LSDs out of the RC Colorado, even though my D-Max is the new shape, which doesn't actually come out with the LSDs. And that's the new TRE air locker. So we gotta get some bearings fitted onto that, which I have a brand new kit right here from Train Tamer. So we've got all bearings installed, rings installed. Now it's just a matter of drilling the holes in this housing for the airlines and we can fit it all together.
All right, so housing has been drilled and tapped. So the bottom bigger hole, that's the air feed. The top hole is actually an oil return from the solenoid at the compressor. So if oil ever goes to the solenoid, it'll actually return back into the diff instead of coming out the solenoid breather. So that's ready, this is ready. You've got to put this on, which sits right there. Like that. Now it's a matter of putting that in there and getting these shims organized. So at the moment, I'm just putting these caps on to set backlash for the diff. But as you can see, this side, the cap won't actually go on because of this airline. So we've actually got to drill a hole through the cap, which I pilot hold for the airline to actually run through. like that. So to work out my shim pack, I shot the feeler gauges and you actually poke them down here. So you push this all the way to one side, work out how much gaps in there. So you work out your shim pack and plus 0 0.05 to that measurement. And that's your preload for your side bearings. And that's what we got to put in. You just got to work out which sides because you also got to get your preload going this way right as well. So we may basically be stacking shims in each side until we get the right preload on this ring. So right now I'm just setting the diff backlash. So we want 0.15 between those two. At the moment we've got about 0.3. So we have to just play around with these shims. On each side diff, I need to move it in a bit. So we'll just keep mucking around until we get it right. Airlock is now all installed and I've got the airlines and everything hooked up. So for in the engine bay, I've actually run the ARB single pump compressor 
and that's an ARV solenoid. That's because I was already on the compressor from when I used to run lockers before. And then in the cab, we have the compressor switch and the locker switch. So the locker's currently in. So currently to turn the locker on, all you gotta do is compressor on, locker on, hear it start up, and that's it. So I'll just drive this track up there. I'll pretty much drive until I can't without the locker, then I'll put the locker in and you'll see the difference that it makes. So alright, so we're gonna drive up here, unlocked, and see how far we get till we're gonna need the locker. be right now so currently so right now we're currently spinning not going anywhere so presser on locker on should just drive straight out look at that So that pretty much goes to show how easy it is when you're full driving with a locker. There's no big run-ups, no hitting things with speed, you can actually just cruise. So that was a TRE air locker. I just bought that, just give it a shot really, because I used to run the ARB air lockers before when this was an IFS chassis. I give TRE a shot and it seems to be so far so good.